Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Hey Little Magpie. And for this layout I will be using Simple Stories Boho Sunshine. So I've not actually cut into this range before, so I've had a good look at the papers that I've got and I really like this um, diagonal stripe one. It's called Happy Day. So I'm going to just uh, cut off two of the corners. I think I've gone with nine stripes in on both sides. So I'm just going to lay those over some white cardstock and just to make sure that my photo fits. So I want to add some mixed media to the background so I'm not going to stick their papers down just yet and I've come in with some bluey greens to coordinate with the papers and I'm just going to use the packaging technique to get a little bit of that colour down the diagonal. It is very faint, uh, you do get to see it a bit more in real life but I just wanted to take the whiteness off the cardstock and I felt this was the best way just to add a little bit of colour. At this stage I've left the papers roughly where they're going to be. Just tried a colour there where it's going to be hidden on, the, on that uh, bottom right corner. It's a bit too grey so I don't come back in with that colour at all and I just concentrate on a couple there just to add that little bit. As you can see I'm coming in with the kitchen roll quite quickly each time. That's because I don't want to add too much water to the uh, paper. It's um, basil uh, avalanche is what it's called. So it's slightly off-white. Um, it's very difficult to tell uh, on the video. And then I'm just going to add just a speckle of ink over the top. So I'm letting that dry off camera and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these diagonals and take them apart. So I'm going to keep these two corners separate so I know exactly where they came from. And as I say I'm using just a pair of scissors because I'm going to rough up the edges uh, eventually. So it doesn't matter if the cutting out isn't quite perfect. So I keep that pile and then I did the other pile off camera and I come in with my distress tool and I'm going to give the long edges a really good rub. I'm not going to bother with the short ones. They're going to be going off the edge of the paper. Uh, this is just a really quick little tool there that I can use just to uh, rough them up and uh, add a little bit of white to all the edges. So I'm not going to do all of those uh, on camera, otherwise we'll be here for ages. I'm just lining them up there, making sure I've got all the right pieces for the right side. Uh, but you get the idea of what I'm going to do. So typically I'm going to take them apart and then I'm going to put them uh, back together again. And that tiny little yellow one. So I'm going to come in. So this is the cardstock with the um, ink already uh, down the centre down the diagonal and I'm starting with the longest strip so if you can get the longest strip in touching both sides I'm going to actually space them apart a tiny bit so they will start to overhang as you work down. If you go the other way you'll find the longest one is too short so uh, I'm only adding a tiny bit of tape to the back of each strip because uh, I don't want them too sticky at this stage and I want to make sure that I can reposition them and get the spaces in between pretty much the same. So they seem to be going down quite well. I'm trying to have them all even at one end and overhanging. Not so easy for the tiny little yellow one. So uh, once I've done both sides, I've come in with the guillotine and I've trimmed them off um, to straighten them up. Again, I took the yellow ones off. I'll do those by hand in the end because they are only really tiny. So it's not much that I've cut off, but it's just uh, because they've been spaced out. So off camera, I'm run that down the sewing machine and I'm just using a ruler there to help me lift the edges of those stripes so they're not completely flat and that's why I only put a little bit of double sided tape underneath them to start with just to tack them down just so they stayed in place well and I sewed them. So I didn't sew off the cardstock, I started on the strip and ended on the each strip but you'll see that in the close-ups later on. So I'm going to bring in the rest of the range. I want to find a paper to go behind the photo and I want to use embellishments now to do a diagonal cluster running obviously between these stripes. This is a really lovely range, you'll find it all in the Hey Little Magpie shop. Really nice, subtle, summery colours. Uh, the photo that I'm using is vintage, it's 2005, but uh, I think the colours go perfectly with the mix and by using the diagonal stripes I feel that I can use any of the colours in the kit because they're all there in the stripes. Some only appear in the top and some only appear in the bottom, but that's the way the paper was, so I'm absolutely fine with that. So I brought in a tag to go next to the photograph just to even up the sizes and that's, that's where my title is going to go and that Hello Sunshine has come from the uh, puffy uh, word, like the foam word stickers. 
I really like these big rainbows. Initially, I was only going to use one, but I think I quite like one there on the right as well. I fancy at least uh, one or two butterflies, maybe three at the top. So I'm just cutting those off the sticker sheet to see what they might look like. So at the moment, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. And I realised that I didn't do any mixed media in the centre because I thought it would all be covered by the photograph, but it's not. So while I have a chance, I'm going to just add a little bit more down that centre portion so it's, it's around the photograph. As I say, it's still very pale. I'm going to add a little bit more over the top of either end and then I will just give it a little bit of time to dry. But I'm trying to suck as much water out so it doesn't make that bit of cardstock bendy. So when that's dry, I'm going to come back in. I'm going to use one of these three by four cards to actually map my photograph on. And I'm just going to trim that by hand and then I will actually distress the edges of that as well, just to go with the, to complement the stripes. So I'll stick those together. And that photo is going to go pretty much central maybe just slightly off centre because it's got the tag next to it as well, which I've just given that a bit of a rough up. And I like the way that those two are looking so much so that I'm going to start to get those stuck down. And I've got some foam pads there and I'm going to use those to stick it down. So I'm going to just look at those clusters. And for me, I'm actually being quite quick. Uh, I like the fun feel of the embellishments in this range. Um, the larger than life uh, rainbows and flowers and suns and I think that we've got to get that sun in there with the title of like Hello Sunshine. So I think that sits really well over that rainbow there. And yet again, they're bringing in all the colours. The lads in the photo are really quite brightly dressed in blues and reds. I think that's their football kits potentially at the time. So uh, they were always brightly coloured. So I'm now going to look at adding a cascade of flowers at the... Uh, lower part of the diagonal there. I'm going to add some foam pads underneath them as well. These are all die cuts from the uh, Boho Sunshine pack. And uh, just a nice colour mix again, just trying to echo what's happening at the top and keep it all nice and fun and relaxed. So off camera, I've taken one of the six by eight papers and I've die cut just a few leaves just to add around those flowers so they just don't look so isolated. And I'm just going to add a little bit of wet glue uh, in a moment just to secure those in place. So as I say, uh, all this is in the Hey Little Magpie store. So if you do like what you see in this video, uh, why don't you subscribe to our channel? Give us a thumbs up for the video. There's always uh, more being added uh, to the channel. So lots to uh, see. I've decided that I only fancy two out of three uh, butterflies at the top. So I've just had a practice squiggle on a piece of paper and I'm going to hand draw then hand stitch their um, butterfly trail. So I'm adding a foam pad in the center of the stickers, covering the rest with talcum powder so it's not going to stick down onto the layout. And then I'm going to uh, figure out where I want to stick them. And I'm going to come in with a pencil and then with a pokey tool. And with I've got foam underneath that there. And I'm just going to uh, add a trail by hand, which I'm then going to come back in and sew. So once I've, I've poked the holes, I'm going to rub out the pencil trail that I've done and then it will be ready to sew because sometimes you can actually see the pencil so I always prefer to rub it out. So I'm going to come back in with the threader, the cotton and the needle and I'm only going to use three out of the six threads uh, for both colours. So I'm just splitting that in half there and I'm going to use the needle threader because I do struggle to thread a needle these days. Uh, I'm going to sew both lines in back stitch. I'm going to start it off on camera and then finish it off camera just because it means I'm flipping the card a little bit and it's not um, look so great. And obviously I'm having to turn the card um, and the layout around to do that. So I do that in both colours. There's the first one and I'm going to come back in in finishing the yellow. This layout's come together really quickly. I really like the way that it looks. I want to say a big thank you for watching. If you could give, uh, subscribe to this channel, give us a thumbs up and come back real soon. Um, that, we'd really like that. Here's the full image and some close up so you can see the um, journaling's been added as well under that rainbow. And we hope to see you here again real soon. Bye for now.